Hey, 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 what's happening? Welcome to Mr. Parker's Neighborhood. We're going to do something a little different today. Uh, but first of all, I want to say uh, condolences to the Cooper family. Love y'all. <laughs> and the Matthews family. And like I told y'all before, my family, it, it, that six degrees of separation to where you know somebody, mine is two. Because in this situation, I met Stephanie uh, through my baseball coach, Mr. Matthews, and and, and Piggy, and, and Miss Matthews. Met up through them when we were little. And me and Stephanie met each other with a, who is you? Who is you? Why you in the van with us? This is a baseball team van. It's my cousin's van. I can get what vans I want to. All right, so that's how we met. And from that point on, that was our thing. We saw each other when we came to baseball. Why are you here? Why are you here? You ain't playing. I am playing. Mm. So, you know, that was the way that thing went. And as time went on, we became cool. But high school came, and we went our separate ways. College comes. I go away to school. I come back, uh, graduate, come back home. I'm meeting my partner Damon, his fiance at the time. We get together, ha ha laugh. We at wedding rehearsal, and Stephanie walks in. Here we go again. Excuse me, do I know you? No, do you? I think so. Steph, yeah, you know who I am. Okay, what you doing here? My niece get mad. What you doing here? My best friend's mad and your niece. <laughs> uh, so I guess we gonna be family anyway. I guess we are. And we laugh about that, find that funny. But again, in that whole piece, come to find out later that not only is Stephanie and my partner Piggy Art is connected as cousins. Like I said, now nah, my best friend Damon, his fiance, Tracy is her niece. And also, Keymore Cooper, my big brother who hung out with Charlie and them, and Carlos Cooper, buddy who hung out with me and Charvel, they all related. And it's just crazy, you know, and, and over time, we just became family. And I love y'all, Coopers, love all y'all. And uh, this is a sad time. Um, love out to the daughter, the grandkids. Uh, we're gonna miss them. That was my girl, uh, like I said. Joan was the best day. You didn't take nothing from nobody. Uh, <laughs> whew, man. You know, and, and that's the thing about life. When you meet good people, you want to just treat them as good people. And you have no problem. And you ask about good people. You know, so, again, to the Cooper family, praying for y'all. Praying for the whole family. Going to make it through this one, too. Last time I saw Steph, we were burying uh, Brother June. I mean, as they say, you live long enough, you're going to go through these kind of things. But I'm praying your strength. Know that I love you. Damon, Tracy, know that the brother's behind you. We, we got your back. Keem Walk, Bud, Coop, everybody. Kim, yeah, we love y'all. Going to be there for you. Yeah. Woke up this morning also to my screenshot <laughs> and it said this Today is Valerie's birthday Man, it's just life is what it is and again you take from the old people the older people now when they, We were young and they would say yeah keep living long enough You're gonna see some things that you don't want to see go through some stuff You don't want to go through but just keep living it'll be all right so family, it'll be all right. We're going to be a little teary-eyed, a little, little messed up right now, but we got memories. And again, that's all we're trying to do, remember the memories, create new memories. So on today's show, uh, going to have some of my other family, Adrian Holden and Fernando Brady. We playing around with some poetry. Hope y'all enjoy it. Here goes some poetry we did. Yes, sir. There didn't used to be a need for the big, bad wolf who huffed and puffed and blew down homes, leaving them broken and unbearable. See, not every father's a straw daddy blowing in the wind, and not every mother's a brick house and dependable, and the kids, 
they just tired of living in a stick house that's shaky without foundation. So now was legislation to straighten out these finances for the broken romances and the answers that we should have had before we plant a seed in soil. See, it's too many broken relationships, but everybody claim they go over. How's that? When I first bet and I first struck out and when I tried to go argue the call, you called in the umpire and he stepped in and called me out and allowed you to manage the situation. So instead of us building our nation, we got to talk about outsiders who prided us with silver and gold and now you in the support role and I'm just a slave for a check. See, I should have made you my helpmate, but they chose you to supply the foot on my neck and hold me down. So if my babies ask why I'm not around, just tell them I'm in the field with more strikes on my back, gathering stones, trying to build this bridge over troubled water that's really not weird. And I'm not just saying that it's all your fault. Because they be like the kettle calling the pot black. I'm just saying. And a real black man. Real black man, baby. It's really want to spark that. <laughs> Can you imagine a man so sure of himself, but shelters himself at the same time? He looks to be well prepared with, with whatever life brings, but it's just that one thing. I really can't figure what it or the one thing entails, but it has such a grip on him that it causes him to say. Now, I know he's prone to anger, sadness, and pain, but I also see him trying to regain his life's momentum and at the same time stay sane. He's my kind of handsome, a lovely brother. He makes me laugh, but he keeps that undercover. I look at him one minute, and he seems he's digging me, but at the same time, he's getting clear of wanting to hurt me. Is a true breath of fresh air simply by talking with him and listening to him and looking at him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a trip. He causes me to think about doing some of the most special things just because of the man I see. Not counterfeit, he seems real to me. He's making me think about writing his name in a little notebook with his name and my name side by side. Yeah, he got me tripping, thinking about him like a bad problem. Plus me equals, you know. Yeah, see, that's what I mean. He's a trip, but he's a trip worth taking. Well, as you already know, when it comes to this life, it's always a show. Today, tomorrow, yesterday, you never know. But what I do know for sure is that a young brother doing his thing on the right side can never be denied. A sister being who she is qualifies for everything that she gets and everything that she wants. But in that piece, there's always one somebody hating. Don't want them relating, don't want them conversating, don't want them conjugating. But in the end, they come together anyway. And what do they do? They make a baby. Not for you, but they make a baby that's true. And they make somebody that's going to move like they move, groove like they groove, do what they do. And when it's all said and done, I love you. Her melodic voice puts subliminal messages in my head as she fed me poison there. She had me in the month of February way too long that she had me up for the kill. Stayed in the situation way past my incubation period in the trance as I danced to an offbeat looking crazy. And even when I got moments of clarity, she put that venom on me that dazed me and kept me off balance. Callous, calculating, cold hearted. Jump started a cold engine, so from ignition, something had shorted out. Burnt up the oil, leaving this empty vehicle to be ported out. Oh, 
Love me as I need to be loved without hesitation or pause. Press your lips passionately with the line and tongues merge in between part lips and caress my body close to you and wrap me in your warm embrace and set my mind to fight and be mean for every desire I had. Call out my name and set my soul on fire and satisfy me nightly and love me daily and look into my eyes and other words of desire. Forever hold me in your arms and keep my needs. Let my dreams come true and say the words I want to hear. You can't unspeak to my heart what was once communicated. Once you done navigated my zones, GPS my feelings, Google my emotions, updated my stat, now we trending. Wrote the letter to my heart, now you on the space bar? No. It's because you acting like a semicolon. It's not going to be a period on the end of this run on since you exclamation mark. We just going to keep adding to the comments. We keep the verbiage we started with, but put it in parentheses. In addition, I co-sign this tangent. Even if this equation is going to be a monster, we're going to compare answers. Subtract all the BS, define it on half on this part. Always, always. I, I think of you constantly, daily. And I have, when I have a moment from my sleep and when I wake, I even think of you then. And I wonder how you are and how you feel. And I wonder, do you think of me? And if so, how often? I think about the smallest things from when we met last night and how you smile when you get smart and how your hand felt across my, well, you know. I think about things too often and than I should or maybe even more than you would want me to. But nevertheless, I just want you to know that I am always always thinking of you yeah i want to take time to let you know that i think of you always too when i think of you what you did today tomorrow yesterday oh what i want to do to you right now it makes my mind go back to thinking about how we met knowing that you were the one and i never regret the time i spend trying to talk to you trying to get next to you and just trying to be with you but then corona came and now I look at you in a different way. I look at you from a picture. I got to look at you through a screen each day. If I want to see you and be with you, that's what I got to do. But now I also think about the time whenever we get together. We're going to have a mind coming together, a body remembering, a finger touching, a lips locking, and everything else. If we get that chance. But until then, <laughs> with this corona, baby, I just got to look at you. But uh, I'm always thinking about you. Well, COVID-19, COVID-19 so mean. But I'm going to tell you right now, <laughs> I've been looking at the brothers out here with all that potential. I truly learned that y'all may not be that essential. <laughs> see, I'm always in good company when I'm around with you. See, you comfort me you just ties my foolishness be the first to arrive in a moment's need and congratulate me on all my accomplishments as i would do for you see we can go weeks without speaking but in the blink of an eye we still be right back on that same vibe my secret keeper my beacon of hope through despair my hey let me borrow your shoes your belt some money if Need be. You have unwavering loyalty whether I'm wrong or I'm right. And listen, if you threw a party and invited everyone you knew, you would see the biggest gift would be for me. And the card attached would say, Thank you for being a friend. Hey, hey, hey. I really hope you enjoyed today's little poetry adventure. <laughs> Thank you again, Adrian. And Fernanda. And we're going to do some more stuff. Miss Pat Bowman, I'm looking for you. Uh, I'm going to have some more poets on here. Um, I'm trying to put together, I was going to put together a show dealing with nothing but poets. But uh, with COVID-19 came in, threw that out the way. So 
We'll bring it back up when we free. Free to be outside. Free to be who we want to be. And um, I got a show for that. It's called The Vocab Cafe. Yeah, be ready for it, Paul. Look out for it. The Vocab Cafe. <laughs> but um, again, just take your time. Enjoy those around you. Do something new. Think of something new. Just be you. And just love the life you live and you'll live a life you love. I hope to see y'all next time. Thank you for all the comments about the show. And um, we're going to bring some more people in here. Thank y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed the Mark Clark. We ain't done. We got some more stuff. But I got some more people coming on. Oh, yeah. We're going to get some history about football, baseball, basketball, college. All my life pieces. Because I got some stories, y'all. Like I said, I'm just a little bitty dude from a little bitty place. But I done a whole lot of stuff. Met a whole lot of people. Lived a whole lot of life dreams. All because God blessed me. And again, what was mine was mine. All right. Before we go, check this out. This is a thought that I just came up with. Something I want to share. Some of you want to hear it. Some of you don't really care. But all I want you to understand and know is that in the life we live today, tomorrow, ain't so. You must make the best each time you wake because you never know who the Lord may take. From this world of hurt, harm, and danger, you never know that friend you had may be a stranger. Based on mental setups, mental breakdowns, and all the things that can cause you to lose your mind, just stop and breathe. Just stop and breathe. Just stop and breathe. And thank God for another time. Today is the best day you will live. Now is the best time you're going to have. But you do know that yesterday was good because you got to the day. You do know that tomorrow when you wake up is going to be better than today and yesterday because it's another chance to do something new. So all I want you to understand, all I want you to remember, and all I want you to do is just be you. Because there's somebody who loves you, somebody who cares, somebody who knows that you're the best thing that you can do and be and say and live and strive because you're alive. Live, love, and move on. Nothing is permanent. Nothing is set in stone. The things you did yesterday that were wrong are erased today. Why? Because you got another chance to make it better and on your way. Love your children. Love your parents. Love your spouses. Love those who just love being around you. And you can love your enemies too. But all I want you to know is that right here in Mr. Parker's neighborhood, I got love for you. So till next time, remember this rhyme. And all I'm saying to you is live the life you love, and you'll live a life that's loved by you. All right, y'all. Till next time. Deuces. Peace.